morning guys I've got another embellishment for you um, to pop into your journals and this one's called the concertina journal embellishments and it's like a, a tie embellishment so this is it here it's easier to show you actually attached to the to your journal so this is my journal and what it is it's just like a little concertina little booklet which I've tied up which you untie the little bit of ribbon and you just pull it down so on here you can do all your journaling on here and to pop it back again you take the two bottom pieces and just push it up and then just tie it up again so it's really really pretty you just pop it down very easy so you've got four little sections to journal in and you just push it up and then tie it up so it's nice because I popped it onto um, the outside cover of my journal because it's a little thinner thicker um, sometimes the pages might be a little bit too thin because it's got to be quite sturdy because you have to stick it down so that's that one so I've made four more and then I'm going to show you how to how to make one so this is another one you pop the string all the way through and then what I've done I've just sellotaped it here for this sticky tape because that's going to be attached to your journal anyway um, so this is just I've got a little tiny envelope in the front of this one which I've popped a little letter in and then a bit of book paper on there so again you just pull it down like that and then you've got the bits of string so you've got all your journaling to do down the, down the middle of it and then to pull it back up you just pull the pieces of string and tie it up together so I thought these were quite cute something different to pop into your journal um, and you can also do them as a little you could even do, give them as a little gift with something inside of it written inside of it it's like a little birthday card so that's that one this is a little pink one it's a cotton there so this is again this is done with a bit of seam binding through and i actually did a bit of sewing on the sewing machine with this one so this is done with seam binding and on the front it's just some lace a little bit of pink burlap and a little bit of cotton down there and you just pull it out like that and then you've got your journaling and at the top I've actually um, popped a little bit of um, a cut out bit there this one's ripped here a little bit so it's quite delicate um, and on the bottom of this one I've added another little bit another little concertina booklet so then you just fold it all back up again and pull these together like so and then do them up so that's a little pink one so you can make them as, as embellished on the fronts as you like but you have to remember you've got to tie a little bow here so you can't be, do too much you can put things at the top and the bottom here and then this one I've actually popped some little pearls on the end of the bow here and in the front I've got a little tag so you can write something on there pop that in there so again we undo the little bow and it just comes down like this and this one here you've got the little journaling bit at the top I've made a little pocket on this one I've popped a little card in there a little bit of seam binding on the top and then the next section is a, is a little bit place where you can do your journaling as well and then the bottom I've made a couple of little pockets um, so it's just the plain bit and then I've got three little pockets there so one in the back and I've just sewed them on with a sewing machine and there we go and then you can pop something in that one as well because that's a little pocket too so there we go and again you just pull the end bits and it just folds up there we go so it's a very easy one because it's just sort of like a flat piece of paper a rectangular piece of paper this one i put buttons on these lovely buttons so they're just on the end and on the front of this one this is a piece of um, uh, what's it called sewing paper pattern paper um, and then again we just and I've just done some coffee stain this is coffee stain paper on this one um, I've just sewed around the outside of it to keep it on and then you just concertina it up and pull it together and this is the bit you actually stick to your page so once that's stuck to your page it's a bit more stable and then it just pulls out and then you just push it back in again so 
but yeah, I thought they were quite nice. Something different to go in the journal. So there we are, there's those. And again, I'll show you this one again. So it's easy once it's attached to your journal here. Um, I've just glued it to the, put some double-sided tape. Then you just undo it and pull it out. It's all attached to the, to your lace or ribbon or whatever you want to attach to the side. You do all your journaling and what you do, just take the bottom piece and push it up. So yeah, so I will show you now how easy they are to make. So pop that in there like that. So what I've done, I've cut the paper already. So this is um, the same size as copy paper. Um, so it's just, but you can make them any size you like. So obviously to fit your journal, if you're doing a small journal, you make them smaller. Obviously if you're doing a bigger one, you can just use them bigger, a bigger sheet of paper. So what you want to do, I've cut these, to, to these pieces to size as well. You want to take it and then you want to fold it in half. Got a little bit of seam binding for the ribbon. So we fold it in half like this. Okay. And then this bit you fold back on itself. So we're making the like concertina on here. And then we turn it over and we fold it back on itself again. Oops. If we can go to the end. Okay, so then we've got like a W. So that's what we need. So when you pop it down, it pulls out like that. Okay, and then what I've done, I've just cut some little bits of paper, so these go inside, okay, to do your journaling on. So these can be stuck on here, so obviously you can ink the edges with your inker. Oh look, this is what I was going to show. I couldn't find any more of my little Velcro um, bits to pop onto here. So I have some self adhesive Velcro, little circles, and I popped it onto a makeup sponge. And stuck it on and it works perfect so it's really really good it will do me for now until i find until i order some more so what we do we just ink the edges like this okay Okay, there we go. I've also done the front. This is what I'm going to put on the front. It's a little bit, it's a roadrunner. It's a little roadrunner. So this is out of one of my little books that I've got. So I thought I'd pop that on the front so it tells you all about the roadrunner there. Oh, well, that was quite sweet. So with these, so we need to make sure we're folding it up the right way. So I'm going to just stick these on here with my glue stick. You can stick them with double-sided tape, you can sew them on, um, you can do whatever you like how you put these on. So this is just giving you the idea of how it's done. Let's pop that one on here, like so. Next one, oops, go around the edges. Probably stick them down a little bit better than me, a bit more glue on there. So pop that one on. Right to the edges with the glue stick so it sticks down properly. So again, you can make these in any different, every colour that you can imagine, um, whatever papers, scrap papers, um, all sorts of bits and pieces that you have lying around. There we are, put the end one on, and there we go, Just those popped in there. 
and then it just folds up so that and then this is the front bit so these come out like that so to make the little holes I have my little hole punch here so let me just take these a little bit stuck in there so you want to make sure that you pop the holes in the middle bit so if you pop these on here like that then just make a little hole in the middle either side and the edges like that okay so there we are that's to put the ribbon through so what we'll do now we we'll just stick this on the front so I think I just need to trim this down a little bit more on the front so I'll pop the measurements on the bottom of the video for this um, of what I've done but again like I said before you need to um, do it to the size of your journal don't want anything too too much too bumpy on this bit because you've got to tie the bow on here and this is it so that's the front of it so it's nice if you're doing a, um, a nature journal or a little animal journal and then what's this so I've just um, dyed some seam binding a little bit of green um, food dye this was I'll just pop it through here and then back through this one and to measure it what you need to do is open it out like this and you want it so obviously it doesn't so you just want a few inches underneath so you don't want it too long and you pop that down that piece off at the bottom and then that just ties down and ties in a little bow like that so there we go how easy was that so you can pop little beads on the end all sorts of bits that you can pop on there actually tie in with the journal you're making those in little knots so it doesn't fray again on this one Here we are so there's a little fuzzy one so if you open it out hold it down and it just opens up so once that's stuck down you push it all back up together and just pull the two little tabs there we are guys i hope you enjoyed that quick little video um and you'll give it a go so there we are there's the little one with little buttons on the end and that one's got the pearls on and so obviously you can embellishment as much as you like by making little um pockets and everything inside you can make them bigger or smaller i like this one so i've got little things inside yeah, so please do have a go and um, if you haven't liked and subscribed my video to my channel please do um, and I hope to see you next time there we go guys thank you very much see you soon bye bye